Okay, I'm kind of doing this off rip. Um, apparently, an Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree story trailer dropped like two days ago. I don't really have social media, so I just see other people posted about it. I saw Emilition and Ratatosker uh, were posting about it, so I'm going to give it a shot. This is all just, I'm just going to do this in one one go, I think. Um, oh, don't start yet. Okay, so this is just going to be like a pretty general reaction, maybe just some quick analysis, some quick thoughts and impressions uh because obviously i mean i'm a huge elden ring fan uh it's permanently etched into my skin uh for those of you if this is the first time you've ever seen anything that i post but uh i love from soft i love soulsborne games uh elden ring is my favorite game of all time um so let's get into this uh this big old buffering wheel all right i think the volume 16 yeah, the volume's good. That's fine. Yeah, it'll be evened out. Okay, let's, let's give it a watch. Mikula the Kind spoke of the beginning. Ooh. Ugh. The seduction and the betrayal. Oh. That's disgusting looking. Which gold arose. The visuals and are so amazing too though. Was shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. One that could never be put to song. Yep, Mesmer, nice. Which, I was stupid the first time I watched this. I was like, oh, is that Mikula? And I was, no, that's Mesmer. I didn't know the name until the end of it, so that was better. The tyranny of oh. Mesmer's flame. Oh, there's the thing. Jesus. There's the impaled, like, creatures that we have there. Yeah, and this is like... Wow. I'm gonna have to watch this again, because... And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. His golden flesh, his blinding strength, even his fate. Hmm. So it's kind of purple. I'll get into that in a second. But we are not to do. We choose to follow. I'm sorry. I'm so stoked for this. I can't even wait. I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about uh, platinuming uh, Elden Ring again. I did, I did it on PS4, but my PS4 was junk, so I got it on PC, and you know, I'm thinking about doing that soon. So. June 21st. I, I again, I, you didn't see it on camera, but I literally went because I'm I'm 27, but I still have to count <laughs> like January, February, March, April, May, June. I still have to count like I'm. <sighs> OK. All right. So let's go back and pick it apart, like line by line. Peggy 16. OK, so that is basically like the fact that they even have to point out Peggy 16. I don't know who this Peggy character is. Hey, that really sucked. Mikula the kind spoke of the beginning. Okay. So Okay. All right. The 
the seduction and the betrayal. What is that hair? And the betrayal. Is that hair? Nicola the kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. Nicola the kind. So Nicola, I mean, I've been watching a lot of lore videos and stuff like that, but I also have the attention span of a fucking walnut, so I can't remember really anything. Um, and it, it, my memory is just ass. So don't expect, don't expect me to like recall lore and get anything right. So if I say anything stupid, just roast me in the comments for it. That's fine. And the betrayal. Okay. It's got, is it hair? So this is in the other world, right? Like the shadow of the earth tree, like, you know. An affair from which gold arose. So uh, there was a video, I think, I think it was Ratatosker. Shout out to Ratatosker. Um, they made a video talking about how, like, I can't remember. See, this is why I can't remember. I actually kind of want to look it up. And we will do that um, just because I want to make sure I get this completely right. Rato Tosker. Oops, I, sorry, sorry, I spelled that wrong. Hello, everybody. Okay, so they point out that, um, let's see. This is Rato Tosker. Today what did I comment? I think I commented on this video. What if Godwin gets brought back in the DLC via the Eclipse and we get to give him a true honorable death in combat? Um, about the lore of the wandering mausoleums. The walking tombs scattered across the lands destined to death away so from... So, they mentioned the, uh, the Eclipse and how, like, it could, like... This is, just watch the video. I, I don't want to, like, misquote or anything. And the death... The lands between from the underground to the great trees from great tree sprouting in the form of spirit ashes describe earth sacrifice her life so that in death she could continue to protect solace demigod there's uh, i think there's a theory that he's like proposing that like during the eclipse you could like bring someone back i would just i reckon i'm gonna put this video in the description if you want to watch the whole thing but um essentially the theory that i had is what if because Godwin didn't get an honorable death because, you know, uh, he was assassinated on the Night of Black Knives and it was the first uh, demigod in, in their history to be killed. And um, so what if there is somehow like somehow some way we get to give Godwin that honorable death and we get to actually fight Godwin? Uh, maybe. Maybe not in its or in his prime, but in some variation of Godwin. I think that would be kind of cool. This is Mikola, and then I don't know what this is, honestly. This is terrifying. This looks like um, that sword. Again, I can't remember anything. So, like the flesh sword <laughs> that you get from uh, Rikard. Um, but just as a place. <laughs> so... And so too was Shadow born. Okay, so let me go back. That's... An affair from which gold arose. And so too was Shadow... So gold arose and then uh, so too Shadow. So it's like Shadow of the Erd Tree is like implying that the Erd tree, the, the gold of the Erd tree, its shadow is where this realm exists. So born. obviously it's all going to make sense when it's released, but what followed was a war unseen. So this is the war. Um, is this the war that took place in the lands between? Or did it take place in the shadow of the world of the shadow of the earth tree? One that could never be put to song. A purge without grace or honor. 
the tyranny of Mesmus flame. I want to know who this is in particular. Or would this, could that, could that be Nicola? I don't know. Well, you got that big scary piece of shit right here. So Mesmer is fighting that. So it's like the, what is it? The, um, like the omen, it's like an omen creature of some kind, right? Mesmer's fighting that. Then there's... Are these impaled omen creatures? Well, there's, there's just these fellas. And then you've got, because the horns of the omens, like... So I want to know what Mesmer's deal is. Like, why is... Like, he's... You know... Is Mesmer, like, spearheading the war, or...? Okay. And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. So they say kindly Mikula would abandon everything. I'm sure that literally everything that they do in my brain is for a, a reason. The music is amazing too, by the way. His golden flesh. His blinding strength. So they are painting Mikula in... And I think I have an idea... Um, they're painting Mikola in a very like positive uh, light, which I think I think that's just kind of sort of the gist of the original. Like, I mean, the original, whatever. Um, Mikola, I don't think Mikola has ever been depicted as like a negative force in the lands between. Even his fate. So. I, we'll get into who Mikola is and like this is purple so like you know you think Saint Trina uh because is like isn't Saint Trina like Mikola's alter e alter ego kind of but like people love Saint Trina in the lands between it is like devoted to sleep and like all these things so I love the purple and I love if this is Mikola like then there this is I feel like this is a Saint Trina Either like, uh, like this will be explained, or whatever. But we are not deterred. So they're not deterred. So, I, I love that this is like a veil. So this is not like, okay, so when people were talking about, uh, the shadow of the earth tree originally like people were talking about how like obviously i wasn't it confirmed that like you enter through uh the little limb behind moog I, I i'm butchering the what you would call that like technically but um but these are people that are like devout followers of mikola and uh, look at this. Like, I love how I almost like put my hands up to it, but like I can do that, but you won't see it. But like the it, it's like a veil over the Erd tree. And like this is in this land, it is the the actual shadow of the original Erd tree, which is very fascinating. Like this is a, a land that takes place in the, the actual shadow of the Erd tree. Like it's very literal, which is that's genius. Like it's not like. A separate timeline it's not it's not time travel like it still is in the time of the lands between like but it's in the literal shadow which is like so badass oh and these armors like there's so many different armors that we're going to be able to get like there's different types of followers it seems like or maybe they're all i don't know if they're in the same faction or they just have different roles Because the circle, like, if you pre-order it, you get that, like, the circle, right? And then that's, like, the, the, something about the followers of, like, Nicola or whatever. I want to figure out, oh, sorry, I want to figure out what each of them do. And then the, the circle of Nicola is, like, it's, like, if you're a follower, you know to 
throw up the, the sign, you know, so that's pretty much all I got. Um, maybe not insightful. <laughs> I hope it is to some extent, but it's just me talking, you know, so I hope you got something out of this. Uh, check out, I'm going to link Emolition's video and Ratatoskr's video because Ratatoskr is one of my favorites. I'll see you guys soon. I'll upload this whenever I get around to it. So love you guys. Bye.